The sound of reels being wound and lines being cast echo through the Seoul Valley. This river is an ideal spot for anglers to practice their sport. Grayling is often caught here, as well as one other type of freshwater fish. I think it's a brown trout, a lady of the seal. The brown trout is endemic to this region. This fish, a cousin of the salmon, has long swum in the waters of the seal. We have a fish here, which, as you can see, is a pale green colour and black on its back, so it's not spotted by predators such as birds, especially cormorants. Otters still plague this river, and so much the better. The trout is then yellow below, like the sand of the seal. And then we have its famous red marks. We managed to fool the fish to play with her a little, and she's a pretty good fighter. She'll end up back in her habitat. It's a fair balance. Let's set her free. Off you go. Gently there, into the water. The Sion Valley is a tiny pocket of land to the north of the Massif Central, crossed by the river, which runs for 150 kilometers. Charles has been studying wildlife for 15 years and this waterway has become his office. When we go back to check on a habitat, a microhabitat, you have to put the stones back carefully and check that nothing is squashed like a fish or that any crayfish are hiding under the rock. Under this one, you can clearly see the leech moving. Ah, here we are. Here we have all the telltale signs of an otter marking his territory. This is where you find his poo, known as his prince. It's a term that comes from Old French. The important thing for an otter is that this space is spread out. We have this large rock which sticks out from the surrounding habitat. The otter will regularly come to do his business here to claim this territory. So it's right here where we'll set up a hidden camera to film his activities. Otter watching takes place chiefly at night because these riverbank residents are still often scared by their main predator, human beings. Since 1972, the otter has been classified as a species protected by law. Some conservationists have gone even further, actively working to safeguard the animals. When there's no wind, it's nice because the slightest movement, even a snake, can be seen in the water. A rendezvous has been organized at Méandre de Canel this little bend in the river. The naturalist Christian Bouchardy has been pushing for the protection of otters for more than 40 years. That means that two very rare and protected species cross paths down there, in the dam. This wall of concrete cut the Seul in two when it was built in the 1990s. It was an impenetrable barrier for the local otter population. Christian, however, has come up with a very clever solution to help the animals bypass it. We got an agreement with EDF Electricity, but we did it on the hush. I asked them during a draining session, when the water levels were down, if a few steps could be built. So now we have three little steps going up, which allow the otter to reach the top parapet. And then, as you see here, a dozen little steps downstream to allow him to descend into the weir. Then they go down on that stand and then out through here. If we didn't have this passage at the dam, the small core of the otter population upstream would have slowly died off. To thrive, the population needs young cubs to colonize, to meet other otters and to continue to expand. These few concrete steps were enough for the otters to win back their possession of the valley. Off we go. We're really at one with nature here. You feel quite small as well. Now, the otter and man live in harmony along this river.
As you can see, it's all just rock on the banks. We're heading to the tightest part of the gorge, a stretch of five kilometers where the river has dug its bed slowly over time. We're canoeing through the real bottom of the valley here. In recent years, tourism has boomed, and visitors are now an all-important part of the valley's economy. We're far from the kinds of big rivers packed with canoes where you get bumped into all the time. It's really calm here. You have this feeling of being alone in the world, almost like an adventurer in an unexplored area. There are very few places where you still have that feeling. Coming out on the water is a great way to show people that we have an ecosystem here that needs protecting. Classified as one of the EU's key natural sites in 2000, the valley is protected from any kind of urban development. It's a river that's so well preserved that last year, 40 Atlantic salmon swam up here to breed.